Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Sleepover Saturday. If you're new here, my name is Grace. I make videos about travel, art, and just generally my life experiences. So I started Sleepover Saturdays as a way to kind of connect to my community a little bit more, talk about some things that I'm really interested in, and talk about things that you may be curious about as well. So this Sleepover Saturday is very special to me because we are talking about a very powerful tool in my toolbox. Crystal healing, crystal energy, whatever you want to call it, but we are talking about... Oh, it's heavy. Crystals. <laughs> so I have a rather large collection and it would take a very long time to go through and explain every single one, so maybe that'll come in the future if you're interested. But for now, I'm just gonna cover the basics and let you in on the magic. <laughs> so, obviously, this is a rock, a mineral, it came from the earth, and like everything else that is on this earth, has come from this earth, it has an energy. Just like when you go into an antique store and you pick up some random antique, sometimes you can feel the energy of that item. Same thing for walking into a room and there's a bunch of people, maybe they're upset, and you feel that upsetness. I've come to realize through my life that not everyone feels these things, but there are people who are sensitive to energy, sensitive to this thing that's constantly around us. And those people can have a hard time dealing with that sometimes because you're feeling both positive and negative energies basically all the time. And if we don't really know how to handle that, sometimes we can pick up those negative energies and start to feel bad or start to feel sick. Personally, for me, through my experience with natural medicine and um, acupuncture, energy work, and spiritual healing, picking up those negative energies can lead to physical illnesses in your own body as well. So if you've been subscribed to me for a while, you may have seen this video with my friend Jordan where we talked about energies and more specifically how to protect your energy. If you feel like you are a person who is very sensitive to what is going on all the time, that is a great resource, a great video for you to look at. It covers some basics like chakras and energy fields and talks about how you can go through your day-to-day -day life without getting affected by external energies. And crystals are a great tool for protecting your energy field, especially amethyst. This is a very, very popular crystal. You can find this pretty much any gem shop. I actually got this one from a local gift store. So there are many, many places to purchase crystals. And each one has its own healing powers. Amethyst in particular correlates with the crown chakra, which if you're not familiar with chakras, this is the diagram. Basically, the ones referred to here are the seven main energy centers in our bodies. There's the root chakra, the sacral chakra, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. So amethyst correlates with the crown chakra, which is your connection to enlightenment, spirituality, God, the universe, whatever you believe in. It's that connection to faith, that connection to knowing, and that connection to protection. So amethyst is a really great protection crystal. It's great for travelers, and I also keep this one next to my bed because amethyst helps promote dreams. So, all around a great crystal, especially if you're just getting started, it is definitely one to have in your collection. This is one of my favorites. Honey Calcite. I actually purchased this in a vlog where I visited a crystal shop with my old roommate Riley who I miss so much. That is linked right here and there's also a link in the description below. But this is one of my favorites not only because it was only $15 which is a very good price for what this is, but this particular one correlates with the sacral and solar plexus chakras um, which deal with your sexuality and your personal power. Which are things that have 
definitely needed healing for me. So I appreciate this crystal a lot. Something that we absolutely have to keep in mind though when we are using crystals as tools for healing is to make sure that they are charged and cleared regularly because like anything, they need cleaning. They take on so much all the time. So we need to make sure that we're taking care of them. Now to clear your crystals, essentially that is just you clearing out any negative old stale energy that may be residing in the energy field of the crystal. To do that, there are many different ways. I personally prefer uh, white sage. You just light it on fire, get the smoke, set the intention that this is helping release any negative old stale energy that is being sent out into the universe and transformed with light and love. Something of the sorts, do what works for you. There are also some crystals that can be cleared with salt water, but you definitely want to make sure before you try that because some crystals will disintegrate in water, like selenite, which I have. Right here, selenite, don't put this in water. <laughs> and then to charge your crystals, you essentially want to make sure that they are happy, healthy, and have energy so that they can help us with our energy. <laughs> Sometimes people will charge them in a full moon, which means just laying them out uh, when there's a full moon. Some people charge them with sunlight. That is my preferred method because it's easiest and I feel like it's a very positive energy coming back into the crystals. Some people put them near plants. Some people bury them in the soil. There are Pendulums, which are very interesting. I can make a whole nother video about these. They are pretty awesome and have helped me out in many situations. But this is just an amethyst one. And then I also have a tiger's eye one, which is very, which is very grounding. Will help you with your connection to the earth make you feel stable especially that's especially good if you are undergoing a difficult home situation if you're moving or anything that is also a very great tool to have in your arsenal tiger's eye i have another one right here i love it all right guys so that is it for this week's sleepover saturday i hope that you enjoyed and seriously if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will do my best to answer them i know this is kind of a difficult topic to grasp for some people but don't worry i am here for you um again just a little disclaimer this is personally what i believe through my life experiences based off of what i have seen and worked with and and honestly i've never had a negative experience with this kind of energy work i just be aware that you know crystal crystal healing is not for everybody all right namaste my loves i hope you're doing well thank you for tuning in i will talk to you later bye hmm.